Hello, welcome to Arvinson Academy. We are discussing conic section and this is the lecture number 7. I hope you have already watched part 1 to 6 before watching this part 7. In this lecture we are discussing uh, about uh, ellipse. Um, this is the second lecture of ellipse on ellipse and uh, we are going to discuss today about the lattice rectum after the first lecture in which we have discussed the general equation of ellipse. Now today we are going to discuss about the lattice rectum. What is lattice rectum? Directrix and all. So lattice rectum. Lattice rectum. What is that? Lattice rectum as you have uh, studied in parabola that lattice rectum is a straight line perpendicular to focus a line segment that is perpendicular to focus uh, perpendicular uh, to focus on the axis of parabola similarly here also the lattice rectum of an ellipse the lattice rectum a rectum of an ellipse is a line segment is a line segment perpendicular to perpendicular to axis of parabola axis of that is major axis of so let me write more clear about it major axis of parabola major axis of parabola at focus whose end points which end points lies on lies on ellipse so this is what the definition says and on the basis of definition uh, we can say uh, this is a parabola and uh, we will have lattice rectum and focus and all these things are there so we will discuss this this is ellipse and say this is a okay now this is y dash axis right this is x dash x axis right x axis this is x dash and this is y y axis so let us uh, see this is the focus s and there is another focus s dash the coordinate is minus a comma 0 right or c comma 0 even you can write but c is a that we have proved in previous lecture so s dash is minus a comma 0 and a comma 0 this is a line segment which intersect at the end points of this is lies at, uh, at ellipse so p and p dash this one is called vertex coordinate is a comma 0 this is a dash which coordinate is minus a comma 0 right now and this is a 0 b that is b point and this point is b dash that is 0 comma minus b these are the points so p and p dash is a lattice rectum similarly here also we can write another that will be um, Another line segment that can be also considered as lattice rectum because both of them are S and S dash are focus. So here equation of ellipse is now equation of ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 and this is equation 1 and uh, equation of lattice rectum is equation of lattice rectum is lattice rectum is uh, x is equal to a solving 1 and 2 now solving 1 and 2 solving 1 and 2 we have we have x is equal to a so that will be we have a square e square upon a square plus y square b square is equal to 1 so a square a square cancel and now you will get point as y square by b square is equal to 1 minus e square and therefore y square is equal to b square into 1 minus e square and therefore y is equal to plus minus b under root 1 minus e square 
and therefore point of intersections are point of intersections intersections p a comma b under root 1 minus e square and p dash a comma minus b under root 1 minus e square and therefore length of lattice rectum h and therefore length of lattice rectum lattice rectum p p dash is equal to 2 b under root 1 minus e square right now 1 minus e square 1 minus e square this is third since e square is equal to 1 minus b square by a square and therefore 1 minus e square is equal to b square by a square so under root therefore 1 minus e square is equal to b by a so we can put it like this uh, b by a in place of 1 minus e square and therefore from first from third length of lattice rectum h length of lattice rectum of ellipse h of ellipse h p p dash that is 2 b into b by a that is 2 b square by a this is also right so you must remember this now for directrix we know let p be any point p be any point on ellipse p x1 y1 x1 p x1 y1 be any point on ellipse any point on ellipse on ellipse in that case in that case ps by pm is equal to e ps by pm is equal to e this is the definition and we do not know what is the pm is equal to therefore pm is equal to by definition isn't it this is what the definition of eccentricity by definition of eccentricity eccentricity of conic of conic right so ps by pm is equal to e now uh, if p be any point say p be any point any point where is a point say p at a and the equation of directed sage you do not know there is a directrix directed sage here only so this is a directed sage Right now, we do not know where is direct x, but we can write it, take it like this. Here is a direct x. So, one direct x will be this side, and another direct x will be this side also. There will be two direct x as well. So, there are two direct x. There are two direct x, right? So, we can find the length of perpendicular to this line say the directrix is we do not know so we can take it like ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 right now let uh, this is a um, qr is a directrix isn't it directrix is qr and we do not know what is the equation so we can write it let qr let now for convenience if i assume it uh, that uh, a is p is lie here p is a variable let this point is coordinate of this point is a comma x1 comma 0 right so this am is equal to am is equal to what am is equal to om minus oa am is equal to om minus oa so here we can calculate it am is equal to om minus oa am is equal to o m minus o a and therefore uh, we can write it o m that is o m a m is equal to what a m is equal to o m o m that is say o m minus o a is a right now length of perpendicular 
let P be for sake of convenience. I assume P as a point. So PS by PM is equal to A. Let P be at one of the vertices, one of the vertices, vertices, say at A. Then PS by PM is equal to E will come to AS by AM is equal to E and therefore AM is equal to AS by E. This employee AM is equal to what? AM is equal to AS. AS is nothing else but OA minus OS by E. So that can be written as AM is also nothing else but OM minus A. Therefore OM minus A is equal to OH is nothing else but A minus OS is A upon E. And that will come OA is equal to A plus A minus A by E. If I will take calcium then what will happen? This OM is equal to A plus A plus minus A divided by E minus A divided by E. A I e cancel and A by E is the value. So OM is equal to A by E. So equation of directrix is therefore equation of directrix is equation of one of the directrix one of the directrix directrix that is coordinate of M is equal to o M M coordinate of M is equal to what? A by E comma G. And therefore equation of directrix is one of the directrix is X is equal to A by E. Similarly equation of similarly equation of other directrix other directrix is is opposite side that is x is equal to minus a by e. So we can say equation of directrix is plus minus a by e. Therefore equation of directrix is directrix is x is equal to plus minus a by e. That is the equation of directrix. So I hope you got it. Nobody has derived this um, in any book. I have derived it right now. So try to understand this. This is the equation of directrix. Although this is beyond of the syllabus of NCRT, but I have discussed all these things. So here few things you need to remember before proceeding for the question that what is ellipse and what are the points that you have to take care of. First thing that equation of if equation of ellipse age, equation of ellipse age x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 where a is greater than b then length of ellipse will be then center is center is 0 0 foci there are two foci foci there are two foci and foci are plus minus a comma 0 or c comma 0 foci vertices are vertices are plus minus a comma 0 eccentricity eccentricity e is equal to under root 1 minus b square by a square and length of major axis length of major axis that is 2a and length of minor axis that is 2b length of minor axis minor axis is 2b right and length of lattice rectum is 2b square by a and ellipse is like this ellipse is like this this is the ellipse right and uh, length of major axis minor axis everything is there you can do that and this is major axis and minor axis as well so here this is an x axis, this is an y dash, y axis and this is an x dash, this is y dash 
and this is y axis this is an x axis right now so here uh, focus are these are the foci s and s plus are foci o is center length of lattice rectum is this this one like uh, this is the length of lattice rectum that is pp dash this is the length of lattice rectum right now so pp dash is the length of lattice rectum p and p dash so length of lattice rectum is p and p dash uh, now these two are a and a dash are vertices right this one is b and b dash this is center you know center and these two are foci and there are two directrix from two sides either way that is one in this way and another in this way these two are directrix so there are two directrix right so two directrix these two are directrix length of lattice rectum length of lattice rectum is 2b square by a so this is one type of ellipse where a is greater than b what is meaning of this that is major axis is along a a dash and minor axis is b b dash because b is small so that is why this is minor axis now there can be another type of ellipse where a is less than b in that case the ellipse will be like this say ellipse is like this right and here the major axis and minor axis are uh, changed here if a is less than b then here major axis and minor axis will change so in that case the equation of ellipse will be this is x axis say x axis and this is an y axis x dash this is an y axis and this one is y dash so here the foci lies on major axis so this is a center you know so center is here only right this is 0 comma b e is the foci s and another foci just does that is 0 comma minus b e here this is a comma 0 this is a and that is a dash which will be minus a comma 0 but major axis is this one b 0 comma b and this is 0 comma minus b that is b dash so major axis is b b dash here not minus so along the major axis there will be directrix as well so directrix will be like this right now directrix will be like this so in that case the directrix is here only right now so these are the directrix so directrix is here only these are directrix we can write it and uh, this one is directrix these are directrix right so here is a directrix we can write it directrix directrix so this one is also directrix and directrix is what y is equal to b by e and here y is equal to minus b by e and instead of a by b there would be b by e and e will be also defined here uh, this one will be focus so this one is said to be focus focus and this one is also a focus so we can have these two are focus so say this is focus and this one is also focus so consider to be like this okay so these two are focus 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 and this one is also focus plural is foci that one is center so this one is called center so this is a center this one is called center center of oops and now major axis is b b dash so here in that case what we will remember that all that uh, here equation of ellipse is equation of ellipse is so now ellipse 
ellipse equation of ellipse ellipse page x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 where a is less than b. In that case length of major axis here the center is center is 0 comma 0 foci is 0 plus minus b e vertices are b b dash vertices are vertices are vertices are 0 plus minus b e because lie along y axis and eccentricity is defined as eccentricity is e is equal to under root usually it is happen 1 minus a b square by a square now here it will be a square by b square remember the small value square upon big value square so this is what so that it will come less than 1 so that will be uh, vertices you know length of major axis and length of minor axis so length of major axis major axis is b b dash that is 2b and length of minor axis length of minor axis is a a dash that is 2b and length of lattice rectum similarly length of lattice rectum rectum is 2a square by b a and b will replace 2a square upon b that is length of lattice rectum eccentricity vertices center everything is defined and i hope you got all these points you will remember you will first think about whether a is greater than b or a is less than b and then accordingly you will find it that whether this will be greater or less right now so that will help i hope you got it okay now uh, let us do some some question uh, related to this so that uh, we will be able to understand whether uh, we learn it or not so let us solve some questions from the exercise which is given in your book that is uh, we are taking questions from ncrt that is exercise exercise 11.3 and the question is in each of the following find the coordinate of foci find the coordinate of coordinate of of foci foci and uh, the vertices and the length of major axis, length of minor axis, and eccentricity. Okay. Okay. Length of major axis, length of minor axis, length of minor axis, axis, eccentricity, eccentricity vertices vertices right now and the length of lattice rectum and length of lattice rectum lattice rectum of the following of the following question following questions questions right so we have question number one and what is that x square by 36 plus y square by 16 is equal to 1. So we can compare them comparing with comparing with x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. We have a square is equal to 36 that is a is 6 and b square is equal to 16 so this is therefore b is equal to b is equal to 4 now uh, we have to find vertices so vertices is therefore vertices is because a is greater than b here a is greater than b since a is greater than b here and therefore vertices is a plus minus a comma 0 that is what is that plus minus 6 comma 0 
and we will find eccentricity. So eccentricity is eccentricity. Eccentricity E is equal to under root 1 minus B square by A square that is under root 4 square by 6 square that is under root um, 4 square B square is 16 by 36 16 by 36 that is uh, 20 by 36 which is 2 root 5 by 6 so eccentricity is 2 root 5 by 6 which is less than 1 now uh, Hokai. Hokai is what? Hokai is plus minus a comma 0 and which is that is what plus minus 2 root 5 because 6 and 6 cancels out and 0 right now that is Hokai is a comma 0 that is plus minus 2 root 5 comma 0. Length of major axis. Length of major x is a a dash that is 2 a so that is 2 into 6 is equal to 12 length of minor x is the length of minor x is here minor x is length of minor x is length of minor x is b b dash that is 2 b and that is 2 into 4 which is 8 and length of lattice rectum length of lattice rectum lattice rectum is 2b square by a that is 2 into 4 square by a 6 so this is 3 times 16 by 3 answer all these questions all these queries have been answered here now let us uh, try to solve some more questions so question number two is there and that is given x square by 4 plus y square by 25 is equal to 1 comparing with comparing with x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 here a square is 4 and b square is 25 so clearly a is less than b so here vertices lies on y axis and therefore a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 5 so vertices is vertices are 0 comma plus minus b that is 0 comma plus minus 5 eccentricity eccentricity is what eccentricity e is equal to under root 1 minus a square by b square that is under root 1 minus a square is 14 4 and b square is 25 that is under root 21 by 25 so root under 21 upon 5 and therefore eccentricity is eccentricity is therefore uh, foci now eccentricity has been calculated foci is nothing else but uh, plus 0 comma plus minus b e that is 0 b is 5 so 5 5 cancel plus minus root 21 is the foci and now length of major excess length of major excess is b b dash here that is 2 b that is 2 into 5 that is 10 and length of minor excess length of minor excess that is a a dash that is 2a that is 2 into 2 that is 4 right so length of and length of lattice rectum therefore length of lattice rectum length of lattice rectum is 2a square by b why this is usually 2b square by a but, but here a is less than b so 2a square by b that is a square is 4 and b is 25 so it will be 8 by 25 that's all in this question i hope you got it now uh, let us solve question number three and the third question is here 
or uh, let me take a break and thereafter we will solve some questions so now take a break and after break we will discuss some other questions till then you can practice the similar questions like uh, uh, these are the two examples has been given you can try to solve the rest of the questions and if you'll be unable to solve it we will solve it after the break thank you thank you very much god bless